time in life. That land has been to my family for generations. So Ahab went back to the play palace angry and sullen. He refused to eat and went to bed with his face to the wall. What is in the world matter? What's the matter with you? His wife Jezebel asked him. Why aren't you eating? What has made you so upset and angry? So here we see a king. Amen. And I want you to pay attention to Jezebel. Because this is the Jezebel spirit. This is how the Jezebel spirit works. Notice Jezebel gave Elijah so many problems. I want you to know Yahweh brought Jezebel's spirit to ministry to an end. And he brought Ahab's energy to an end. Amen. So this is the final outcome of Jezebel. Her body is going to get eaten. And the only thing going to be left is her head, her hands, and her feet. And this is every witch's destiny. Amen? To be eaten by dogs. I didn't say it. The Bible does. Did. Uh, I asked Naboth to sell me his vineyard or to trade it, and he refused. Ahab told her. The devil has always wanted something that belonged to him. Cherry, you got something that the devil wants. It is your responsibility to make sure you don't get it. Son, you got something the devil wants. It's your responsibility to make sure he doesn't get it. We all in here have something that the devil wants, amen. And you have predecessors and family members who's given in to what the devil wants. They yield to temptation. Amen. Your cousins, they give in. They just fold in and came in. But don't you be like them. Never give the devil what he wants. Amen. We even going further, it says, verse 7 says, Are you the king of Israel or not? Jasper demanded, Get up and eat, and don't worry about it. I'll get you neighbors than you are. And the Jezebel spirit always says, I'll find a crooked, dirty, underhanded, ugly, nasty, mean way to get it. I'll get it for you. I'll steal it. I'll rob it. Because the devil is here to rob, kill, and destroy. I'll get it for you. Amen. You want that man? Oh, he's married? No problem. I'll get it. We'll use witchcraft. I'll get it. I'll get it. Amen. Oh, you want that piece of property? I'll get it. I don't care about the tenth commandment being thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife as ass, uh, anything that's him. I'll get it. Oh, you want that? No problem. I'll get it for you. There's always a way. You want this business? Okay, I'll get it. We'll find a way to steal it, amen. That's how the Jezebel spirit works. That's how the Bilal spirit and the kills of brother work. And the Bilal spirit is Jezebel's brother. I said the Bilal spirit is Jezebel's brother. Brother, because it accuses the brother falsely. And I'm going to read to you and show to you that I know what I'm talking about. And these are the spirits we need to bind. Yeshua said, whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth is loose in heaven. That means if you don't do anything about it, I'm not going to do anything about it. I've given you the power to bind and loose. And we're not as saints of God as elect use it. We've got to start binding and loosing in Yeshua's name. He goes on to say, in verse 8, So she wrote letters in Ahab's name. Sealed them with his seal and addressed them to the civic, civic leaders of Jezreel where Naboth lived. In her letter, she commanded, Call the citizens together for fasting and prayer. How many of the devils and demons and witches and warlocks get together and fast and pray too? So they don't care about you fasting and prayer. Your prayers don't mean they pray too. And we've got to pray three times as much as them because it's, it's, it's many of them that get busy. They'll get together. They can be enemies. They'll come together just to defeat us. And we're supposed to be so-called Christians, Baptist, Presbyterian, Methodist, this group, that group, apostolic, and we can't come together. Amen? But evil people will come together for your destruction. Amen? We better wake up and smell the coffee. Verse 9. Then summon Naboth and find two scoundrels who accused him of cursing Elohim and the king. Then take him out and execute him. So here we see two false witnesses. And who are these two false witnesses? These are spirits. A lying spirit 
This is, find two men of Belial. If you read the King James, it says Belial, who are base fellows. So we see the Jezebel spirit and the Belial spirit working with a lying spirit of falsity to false accuse the brother. And out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, the Bible says, let everything be established. Amen. And here we have two false witnesses of Jezebel and Belial lying on a righteous man to steal his property. Amen. You know anybody's property or an inheritance has been stolen? Anybody's soul or life has been stolen? Anybody's job or occupation or business has been stolen? Well, I guarantee you, Jasper and Belial was behind it. Anybody's marriage, father, or child has been stolen? Your joy, your peace has been stolen? A ministry stolen? Well, I'm going to tell you, Jasper and Belial are behind it. Amen? Because this is how they roll. And they come together. They're in agreement. The question is, when are you going to get in agreement with the Word of God? Amen? See, it, it, it doesn't impress me what you say you are. What impressed me is what are you doing? What type of power and authority do you have? Amen? What type of prayer life do you have? Okay? Impress God by obeying Him. But yet, impress Yahweh by repenting. Amen? Verse uh, 11 says, The city fathers follow the queen's instructions. Because they were afraid of the queen. Jezebel invokes fear. Jezebel is very intimidating. Jezebel hates the prophets because the prophets are the visionary. Jezebel's main attack and focus on the prophetic ministry. Those who evangelize. Those who are in position to save souls. But Jezebel, I'm serving you notice in Yeshua's name. Your time is up. Your time is up, Jezebel, and you failed your mission and assignment. And all your children are going to have to die. Everything you got birth to, that Yahweh didn't build up, is going to die in Yeshua's name. Verse 12 says, They called the meeting and put Naboth on trial. They called the meeting and put Naboth on trial because two Spirit said that her Nabal cursed God and the king. Amen. Ain't nothing changed. They've been lying from the foundation of the world, and they've been murdered from the foundation of the world. Cain and his daddy Satan. The two men who had no conscience accused him of cursing God and the king. Isn't that convenient? I like that wording. They didn't have a conscience. They didn't have anything to lose. Sitting didn't bother them. They had no conviction. And that's the type of world we live in that. People don't have no remorse. They kill, they rob, they murder, they beat old people, they kill children. No remorse. That's the type of world we live in. No conscience. Goes on to say, And they dragged Naboth outside the city and stoned him to death. The city officials then sent the word to Jezebel that Naboth was dead. Amen? You see how it works? Well, you know, bind the spirit of Jezebel and Belial before it bind you. Kill it or kill you. Overcome it or overcome you. Warfare is real. The Bible says, for the weapons of warfare are not carnal, but mighty will pull down the strongholds. Put your armor on, the royal son said. Verse 16 says, So Ahab went down to the vineyard to claim it. In closing, I just want to say, we're not ignorant to the devil's devices. He doesn't want us ignorant 
to our enemy who accuses us day and night. The devil, his name is Satan, or Ha Satan. And he's not only using other spirits, but he's using the Jezebel spirit and the Belial spirit. So you need to pay attention and focus on these spirits and bind these spirits up. Here we see that Satan was after somebody's vineyard. He was after somebody's field. Somebody's possession. Amen? And what possession was that? How do we spiritualize that? Well, I'll say this. We spiritualize that by simply saying that we all have ministries and we have lives. And in our been years of our lives, the Mashiach is at the fruit. He wants us to bear fruit. Here is my father glorified in John chapter 15, verse 8, that you bear fruit and fruit that remain. Are you bearing fruit? Are you bearing fruit? What type of fruit are you bearing in your vineyard? Now I want you to say somebody wants to steal your fruit. And that's the huge of the brother. Amen? We have to protect this precious fruit in our vineyards. I prophesy in Yeshua's name a harvest of souls for our work in Yeshua's kingdom. Shaula. Shalom, Jerusalem. That's my time. Shabbat. Shalom.